My dearest Jessica, I just finished with my very first day of classes here at Trinity and it was more than a little hectic. Um, I had Latin class, I had Latin class this morning and I had Old English and then I had a research symposium this afternoon. And in the Latin class, the professor just kind of shouted facts at us and we were expected to already have our books, which we didn't have a reading list before, so how does this make any sense? <sighs> Trinity. Serenity. And my Old English class was really fun. It uh, is a lot like modern English. Grammar is different, uh, pronunciations are different, but for the most part, if you speak modern English, you can translate Old English. I think. That's probably not true at all. Don't trust me, because I'm new to this whole thing. And also I'm American, which leads me to my next point. So in my research symposium tonight, I got so lost. It was supposed to start at 5 o'clock, and I set out for my apartment in enough time to find the place it was supposed to be in. However, when you type in Leinster Road, but you really mean Leinster Street, Google Maps will send you out to the other side of the city. So... <sighs> I did show up to the class, however, I was 20 minutes late, and it, I felt really, really bad. Um, I was not the only one who couldn't find it, though, so I guess that's a plus if you're looking for a way out of responsibility. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the professor in there, the professor in the class, I didn't, okay, let me back up a little bit. I didn't miss much, though, luckily. Uh, the professor in the class is Austrian, and he's really cool to listen to. Um, but when he started talking about what the class was going to be doing, um, which is teaching us how to write a thesis, he said that if we were American, then we probably needed to take a, another writing class because Americans can't write research papers correctly. But I really don't want to talk about classes right now. What I want to talk to you about today is what not to do in Ireland. So over the course of the last couple of weeks, I have uh, committed my fair share of uh, social faux pas around Dublin, and let me just tell you, they have been a barrel of fun. So let me list off a couple of things that you should never do while you're in Ireland. I just realized I'm not wearing a sweater. I'm indecent. That's better. Now I won't taint you with my whore flesh. So it was super hot outside today, and I am super sweaty. And the whole time I was walking around the city, I was like, um, yeah, I left Texas to get away from that. What? It follows me everywhere. All right, so a couple of things you actually shouldn't joke about while you're in Ireland. Number one is divorce. My dad actually found this one out. So apparently, or not apparently, it's true, the King Henry's divorce from... Uh, Catherine of Aragon w was what started the entire Ireland uh, suppression and awfulness that, the, that happened in Ireland. Um, because when he divorced, Cath because when Henry divorced Catherine of Aragon, he insisted on destroying the Catholic Church and becoming the head of his own church where the Irish people were like, no, we're not going to do that, we're not going to follow you, you idiot, you really think you can do that? But uh, he did it anyway and was really mean to all the Irish Catholics who refused to convert. Um, so you don't joke about divorce over here. Second thing you don't joke about in Ireland, drugs. Um, just as in with any big city, there is a drug problem here, um, especially north of the river. And uh, it's just, it's what happens, you know, in big cities. That's how it goes. Um, so, I personally don't find any fault in talking about it, however, other Dubliners who I've talked to are very hush-hush, and they don't want anyone else to know that there's any sort of problem at all, and to be honest, it's not worse than any other European city, but you don't talk about it. Third thing you don't joke about, this is probably my favorite one, because it was the most embarrassing. The aforementioned war of the Irish, um, both the War of Independence and the Civil War, don't joke about, don't talk about, that is still a very open wound that is bleeding profusely and you don't want to touch it with a stick. 
So I was going into a museum uh, and it was, you know, pretty early in the morning so there weren't very many people there. And the guy who was selling the ticket was, you know, being super friendly and helping me uh, figure out where everything was and it was fantastic. And uh, so he was leading me around. He was like, okay, so you go over here, you're going to see this. You go over here, you're going to see this. And if you go upstairs, you'll be able to see some lovely Victorian architecture that the English built while they were occupying Ireland. I, being the stupid American that I am, said, oh, so I guess the English did one good thing while they were here. <laughs> um, yeah, he wanted to bash my brains in pretty badly. What was really funny about the situation is after he didn't laugh, and I'm an idiot, oh god, the embarrassment is washing over me again, he looked me straight in the eye and he said, look love, I understand you're new to the city, so I'm going to tell you this once. We don't talk about the war and the English never did anything good here, understand that? <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> It was bad, but I learned my lesson. History is alive here in Dublin. These are just a couple of things that I've learned while I've been in Dublin so far. I'm sure there are more to come. Um, I have been seeing a lot of really cool things, and I've been taking really good pictures and video and all this kind of stuff, but that will come in a later video because of reasons. Mostly I'm exhausted because class. So I will talk to you next week, and I will see your face on Thursday. You will see mine again next Monday. You know how it goes. I look like a crazy person with my sleeves everywhere. I wish you the best of weeks, and I hope that teaching is going fantastically for you. And uh, don't let the six weeks get you down, alright? So, I will see you later. Best wishes.